focus today is going to be on the Radon Eye Pro. And again, we're going to really talk about how to customize your, um, your radon reports using the phone app, iOS or Android, or the radon, uh, the radon Eye dashboard, Radon Eye Pro dashboard. But let's talk a little bit about, about the Pro. First of all, NRPP and NRSP listed. And already within, uh, it's been out now two and a half years, we've got very strong uh, traction among the professional community. Um, last December, we actually shipped our 1,000th unit. So we've got over 700, almost 800 clients out there using over 1,000 units in the field. So we've had very strong traction in a very short period of time. Again, the latest uh, patented technology, 30 CPH, and that gives us very high accuracy, um, easy report generation, which we're going to talk about, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity for, you know, for maximum connectivity and remote data access and real-time monitoring. We're not going to talk a whole lot about that today, but again, if you go to some of our other webinars, we really get into detail on that. Very, very uh, good quality, fast technical support, seven days a week. And I can tell you, I get calls seven days a week because I know that inspector inspection business is not a nine to five uh, gig. So um, we're out there helping you. And, and I know a lot of you uh, haven't got that from some of the other companies in the industry. And the most affordable solution out there, up to 20% lower than some of our competitors. When we talk about the sensitivity, we'll just give you a quick overview here just to show you how things compare. Higher sensitivity means faster, more accurate, and more reliable um, inspections. Um, there are things, the Corinthian Pro, you know, we're at 30 CPH, they're at 3.7, and the sun radons range anywhere between 2.7, and I believe the 1030 is, is 15 CPH. So, you know, at the very best, we're, we're double you know, double what uh, our competitors are. And in some cases, you know, over eight times faster, 8x faster means again, more accurate, more reliable inspections. Now, oops, I don't think oops was in this in the script, but uh, the uh, Radon Eye Pro smartphone application allows you to do virtually everything that you need right from your phone app. There it is. You can create new customer accounts, add new monitor devices, manage your inspections. You start and finish the inspections from your, 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 your mobile app using Bluetooth, generate a report, which we're gonna go into here, and then share the report right there if you'd like from, you know, with your customers or your real estate agents you're working with right there from the app. You also have other options as well, which we'll talk about. And again, there is support for both iOS and Android. So let's go through really how to generate your report and, and customize it. I have a little, little film here. It's gonna kind of go through, but you, we're gonna, you can quickly generate your report right on site, add your logo, inspector information and images, customize each report with site photos, floor plans, and, and more, and save the report and you can share it. We'll talk about some of the other options and, and how this works, but as soon as the inspection is complete and you've hit confirm, which ends it, the data is uploaded to the phone, and then you can start actually going through the, the process. You have a little device menu there. And you pull down, you pull down here the inspection data. There's a drop down list here for your client name. You can also enter it right there on, on site. So we'll go through the names. Old John Doe is on this one. We're going to show your inspection details. There's a, there's a chart, and now right here, you have uh, two areas that you can add. You, know, you can add copy to measurement environments and the uh, a comment section. So you could, we'll, we'll continue going through this. You can actually cut and paste if you'd like, or you can add up to 1000 characters of, of type in there here. 
you also have a section for comments. And again, you can cut and paste if you've got specific dialogue that you like to use, or what a lot of our, um, a lot of our users do is they will take an image file of the, uh, you know, let's say they have a uh, radon, you know, information about radon. Some inspectors like to, like to have different ones for under 2.0 or 2.4, over 4.0, you know, however you like to do it. Once you've uploaded that photo, it'll actually open up each time and uh, it, it, it'll, it'll populate the report. So you don't have to cut and paste. You don't have to upload each time. Now, of course, on the measurement section, you're going to want to do that because it's a different, you know, different home each time or different, uh, you know, building. So, but on the uh, comment section, you can put in something and leave it there. But you have all the uh, you know, all the options in the world as far as entering information or putting a photo in there. And um, we'll also talk about, um, you know, your, your logo. You can upload your logo, and when we get to the dashboard, I'll show you how you can actually upload your logo once on the dashboard and it'll actually open up each time you do a report. So let's let's complete this. You go through, you've added a picture. Now you're going through and checking to see what it looks like before you're ready to complete it. And the, the last page, is automatically populated with the hour by hour radon readings, temperature, and relative humidity. So you've got all four, you've got all your pages now, you've checked through if there's anything you wanna change, you can go back and edit it, but now you've quickly, right on site or right out in your truck afterwards, if you'd like, you, you've been able to easily and quickly customize your report and save it, if you want to send it later, or you can actually send it out immediately. So you save it by name. Now you've got your full report, which is saved as a PDF. And just to note, there is also, after each test, you've also got the raw data, which is saved as a text file, which some inspectors like to put that into their, you know, their, their full report. If you don't want the, uh, customization in the fancy report. Here, you email it out to your client. And you're set. So that's, that's really the, the, the whole process within, you know, once you get down, get it down, let's say within five to 10 minutes after your, your inspection is done. Now you've got a customized report that you can send out right away, move on to the next, next inspection. But now we know that sometimes you're busy or a lot of people like myself don't necessarily like to you know, um, type on, on a, uh, a phone app. So you do have options and we're gonna go through that to do this on your computer as well. Or if you're in a bigger company, we have people back in the office, you, um, you have the options to, you know, to, to, to do it through your web dashboard. I'm gonna to go to that right now. The web dashboard, and so, so basically the way this works is once the test is complete, you've, you've finalized the test, the data is uploaded to your phone. As long as you're in an area that has a cell connection, the data will automatically upload from, you know, from the phone to, the web dashboard to our, you know, to our server, cloud server. And now you'll have access to this on the web dashboard. You don't have to do anything. Again, as long as you have the, you know, a, a cell connection. If you're out in an area where there's no cell connection, you're okay. As soon as you get to one, it will upload automatically. Now, the nice part about this is in, in companies when you're not, let's say you're not working on your own, you have a small company or even a medium to larger size company, you've got somebody in the office. Um, as soon as the inspector or you know, your radon runner completes the, um, you know, the, the inspection, the data is, is up on the cloud now, they can go on to the next, you know, pick up the next unit, go out to do the next inspection, but 
your office manager or you know anybody you know working at home can actually or in your office can now they have the data on the web dashboard and they're able to generate the report while you're still out in the field so it's seamless from the app to the web dashboard and this is a feature that our inspector uh, our users really love so you can you can really really uh, move quickly through the process and have somebody else you know do it for you while you're out in the field the web dashboard and we've got a, a whole a whole webinar on the dashboard it's got a ton of features you know and admin features which we did a major upgrade on last last spring um, so you have you know, all your admin functions there you know, you know your monitoring status data management client management you know your you know all your radon reports are stored all your user management is there and it's all part of the package there's no ups charges no extra charges for that um, so that's all on radonipro.com today we're going to talk about how to do the report. Once that data is up in the cloud, how do you do the report? And basically what we're gonna, we're gonna look here on, on the dashboard is an area for inspection data for data and then inspection data. And I'm gonna start this and kind of go through this with you. So you look for your device, click on the data that you wanna do the test with. And, this, and right here, you've got all the details of the test, you know, whether you use Wi-Fi or not, the wait time, the maximum, the overall. And once you see that is correct, you go to the report button right there. And now let's talk about the logo. I mentioned before that um, I know that the one thing that you don't wanna be doing is constantly uploading a new logo, uploading it over and over again. When you first, when you first sign on and get started with the, with the pro, if you go to the web dashboard to the settings area, you will be able to put in all the information that you need that you want on the reports. So your inspection, your, your inspector name, if you have a state where it's required to have your um, licensing information, um, that, that'll be all be on there, phone numbers, address, all of that is in the settings, but you can also upload a, um, a logo and that logo will populate every report you do, both on the web dashboard and on the mobile app. So you only have to do it once. You can change it at any time, but only have to do it one time and you're set. We're just showing you here, you can do it from there. Now you're gonna pick your, your name again, your client's name. Now you go through and here again, the measurement environment. Now, this is something that we're really excited about. One of the bits of feedback that we've got from a lot of users out there is, you know, here you have an area we upgraded recently um, to 1,000 characters that you can type in here, and you have a spot for a photo. But one of the things that we've been asked uh, is to have some sort of a drop-down window so that you don't have to type in information about your location. I mean, this is something that uh, we've been asked a lot of times, and actually, we're in the process right now of, you know, of putting together another software upgrade on, uh, you know, and it's it can include a drop-down window with information like building type, year of the building, the room type that you've done the inspection in, the location, and, uh, you know, a few other um, items that we've been asked, you know, by by our inspectors that it would make it easier. So the drop-down window is coming. That question comes up in everything we do and um, that, that is coming and we're looking at probably, you know, late spring, early summer, sometime definitely in the first half of the year, we'll be doing an upgrade uh, on that. And a few other things we'll talk about when I show you some of the um, samples, you know, I'll show you a sample of the report. But right here, you have a thousand characters to type, or again, you can add in a file, a picture of the, of the site, a location. So here, here we're showing you uh, cut and paste. Again, you can type, we're gonna put a picture in, let's say you did it in the basement. Now on this page, let's go through that. Now you, have, you had all the information there. Now you have the comment section. 
And again, on the comments, you have a thousand, thousand characters, a type and a picture and the table. I think it went back to the beginning. Uh, there we go. That's now you have your final report. I got a little crazy with the button. So you go through it, make sure everything's okay. And now you save it as a PDF. Now you've got a PDF on your laptop or, or desktop. Go through it, make sure everything's okay. And save it right on report. And there you go. Done. Here's what it looks like. And I wanna go through this, show you where we're at and show you some of the changes, you know, a couple of the changes that we're gonna be making. This, this front page right now is showing you the unit, the dates of the test, who was performed for measurement information, the inspection duration, the measurement location, the inspector information, the next page, you have the uh, measurement environment. Again, thousand characters there. And then right here, you have the, uh, you know, a picture, which you can change every time. Again, next software update, there will be a drop down window here that will allow you to, you know, click on building type, year, room type, location, environment, so that you don't have to do that. You don't have to type that in each time. The next page, We'll have the test start and end date, the calibration date, the duration. If you had a wait time, that'll be listed there. Now, here's another area where we're going to make some changes. Um, right now, we're listing the radon concentration max and minimum, the overall average, and the EPA protocol average. The EPA protocol average excludes the first four hours of the test following the EPA protocols. Um, this is on there because some states require it, a lot of states don't. One of the, one of the things that uh, we've been asked over the last uh, year or so since we've put the EPA in is, you know, uh, people would like to have the option to either have the overall average or the EPA protocol average. Right now, you have to do some editing, to, you know, to get rid of it if you'd like. Sometimes it causes a little confusion, especially if one number is over three, over four, the other number is under, but starting with the next upgrade, there will be the choice to eliminate to one or the other. So you'll have an option to choose one or the other. And that's coming again in the next, the next iteration of the software late this spring. Now you have the comment page where again, 1,000 1, characters to type. And again, you have an area here for uploading a, a picture. It can be either an image file like this, which has radon health information. You want to talk about, you know, recommendations, whatever you'd like, or you can use the same the same comment page for a picture of the site. Whatever you have on here, you can leave. It will auto populate for the next time. The uh, last page is the table of hourly radon measurements. So you've got the timestamp. You've got the radon value, temperature, relative humidity. And just to note, if there is any sort of um, issue, somebody moves the, you know, moves the, um, the, the monitor during the uh, inspection or uh, windows are open you know, and, there's, and there's a huge change in the temperature or the humidity, it is noted on the software and with a big warning sign so you can see exactly when there was an issue. So this is really, um, you know, this is how it looks. You can make this work for you in any way, you know, you like in terms of pictures, the content. And again, it's, you know, it's very customizable, very professional looking. The feedback we've gotten is terrific. And we're always getting feedback. Most of these features on here have been added in the last year and a half, you know, from requests from our users. So Please feel free, as I'm sure you will, to uh, you know tell us what you'd like, what you you know what you'd like to see changed. That's really really something that 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 we're working on to make sure that we it can't be everything to everybody, but we've really tried to have as many features as possible 
in you know this this software to make it as easy to use as as possible. So that kind of covers you know the the um, you know going through that. We get a lot of positive feedback on 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 these units. You know people like the easy tracking, the easy reporting, and really our customer service. Is, is really been outstanding. And I, I don't say that just because I'm working for the company, because we're really trying. We understand that they've got competition out there that has many years you know, in the marketplace. And one of the bits of feedback we got early on was that you know, especially for the small to mid-size um, inspectors and uh, radon testers, they weren't always getting the kind of, of service that they'd like, they weren't getting paid attention to. So we have really worked hard to make sure if you have a call, especially if you're out in the field, we're gonna get back to you seven days a week. You know, we do our best to get back as quickly as we can and really try to make sure, you know, I, I get calls all the time on the weekend. I'm not telling you to do that, but if you have to and you're on site, we're there to help. And we are members in good standing of many of the uh, local and national associations. You know, we especially work uh, very closely with ARST, uh, you know, on the radon side, the home inspectors, we're members of InterNASHI, which has been a, a, a really excellent uh, tool for us and an excellent help for us to really promote our products and our branding. ASHI and in Canada, we, we work with KARST as well. We have Canadian um, distribution, a lot of local chapters. We've actually added a bunch, you know, since this, and we'll update that for the next time. But just wanted to kind of summarize, you know, we, we said we'll make this quick. We know it's it's late in the day for a lot of you, and we appreciate, you know, how many of you have jumped on here, and I'm going to have a few minutes to answer some questions. But the summary is really take your radon business to the next level with the Radon Eye Pro. It's easy to use, easy to customize, and very affordable. I mean, our price point is uh, $7.95. We have promotions going on with Arst, Ashi, and um, Internashi. We have a promotion that's going on with this, with this event a, as well. And um, quick and easy customize, customization of your radon reports, either on site with your mobile app or at home, in your office, with your desktop. And you, you know, stand out among, among the competitors. We know in every market, especially the high radon markets, there's tons of home inspectors all out there competing for the same dollars as you are. So we want to help you stand out and increase your referral business and repeat business from your real estate partners. Now we'll answer some of the uh, we'll answer some of the questions. We've got a bunch of them here, and we'll have a few minutes. If we can't get to all of them, we will make sure that to answer all your questions. Um, someone says, "I don't need Bluetooth. You don't need Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Bluetooth Wi-Fi you do not need. The the you know the thing with Wi-Fi, James, is that um, if you are connected on site with Wi-Fi." You can remotely monitor your inspection in progress on the web dashboard. And again, I would I would recommend um, going to our um, the webinar page. We have a complete um, webinar on the web dashboard, and it kind of talks you through that. But you don't need now Bluetooth is is required. You know the, the you start and end the inspection through you know using Bluetooth on your phone. So Bluetooth connectivity is required. Um, cell connection is, is typically required as well, although there is, you can, if you're in an area where um, you know, there is no cell connection, you can um, work with it offline as well using Bluetooth. But that is, um, you know, Wi-Fi not necessary, Bluetooth definitely is. The size restriction for the pictures, I believe it's, it's pretty high. I think it's 25 megs. I'll have to check David on that. But um, we haven't had any issues with that. But I'll, I'll check for you and uh, get you an answer. If you're updating the report on the PC, will the map update to show the correct measurement location? Once you have the correct address in there for the client report. You know, there's no GPS in the unit itself. The GPS, actually, the report uses the GPS from the mobile phone. So when you're, when you're updating the report, on the PC, the, the map won't be 100% sometimes you know, correct on that, Darren. So um, 
you know, that is something that that that, that we're working on, but um, th th it isn't in the actual unit itself. What's the required height of the unit for testing? Not sure. Are you asking how high the, the, the unit needs to be? Um, you know, I actually, AJ, I have a, I have a, a EPA, I've got an EPA uh, guideline that I'll send you that, that goes through placement, you know, certain amount of distance from the wall. I think it's about 20 inches from the ground. And um, we do have actually have a, a small um, tripod, which you could use, but I'll send you, I'll send you the details on that. Now, Tori is asking, uh, you have the four pack, that's our, we, we came out with a, pro, with, with a product last, last fall called the Eco Tracker, which packages basically four of uh, the radon eye units. And, um, and this, this is really not the same, Tori, as, as the pro. You, you can't do all this with that unit. That unit is set up really for mitigators to be used as a sniffer or a hotspot finder. So, um, you know, in a either pre or post mitigation, you can put the four units around because it has that 30 CPH, even our, um, our consumer models have the same, you know, the, the same um, sensor, same technology. You get a quick reading in about 10 minutes and you can get a good idea where the hotspots are, but it's, there's no report generation, you know, it's the same way as this and they're not, certified by um, NRPP or NRSB. So the answer to that is no, we, we can, can't use that. Ben is asking, doesn't see a spot on the settings page for the license um, number. Um, if you put the information right now, this is there's gonna be in the upgrade um, that's coming out this, this spring, there will be an area for the license. What people have been doing now is in these settings, when you put your name and all the information that is going to appear on the um, report, it will be, you can type Ben Miller slash your, um, your, your license number, and it will be on, on the report. It, it should show up in the front of the report if you have that in the, in the settings page, and you only have to do it once. Again, that's going to be a separate, we're going to reformat the front a little bit, and have and add some of the some of those categories, and one of them will be an area for your license, and um, you know that'll be in in the upgrade. Jennifer, thank you for coming. We uh, the question is: When you finish one inspection, do you have to manually clear the monitor of data before starting a new inspection? The answer to that is no. They there is. A caveat there: the on the actual inspection, you know, in the report, I mean, in, in the uh, inspection of data, a uh, mobile app, you can actually have 10, 10 um, reports, you know, ten inspections on there, you know, at, at one time, and then after the tenth, you do have to delete those from the actual app. They are saved in a file load area of the of the app. They're also saved. In the cloud on the web dashboard, so all you won't lose them, but ten at a time before you can do the next. You know, after ten, you have to eliminate at least one to do the eleventh inspection. But the data is on the, um, the on the app in the file load area, and it's also in the cloud on the web dashboard. Let's see, uh, try and go through these, some of the questions. We are, Kim, we are working on, uh, you know, on that clients shareable, shareable with all our users. So um, that is something that is, is uh, we're working on for the next, next iteration. And then uh, Tori is asking, can these monitors be calibrated or are they throwaways? At $795, Tori, they are definitely not throwaways. And all NRPP and NRSB um, monitors are required, you know, for annual calibration. And uh, we have two uh, options for calibration. One is uh, Bowser Morner in Ohio, which is one of the leading, I think it's the leading uh, radon lab in the country. And the second one is Kansas State University Radon Lab 
in Manhattan, Kansas. They are also um, you know, one of the leading experts on, on radon in the country. So both of those, actually on our website, we've got the, the details of that. They both have um, special arrangements with us. Actually, KSU, uh, where they do a lot of radon work, but they only do the calibration work for EcoSense and the Radon Eye Pro. But you definitely need to you know, build that in. If, if you're budgeting for, for any professional CRM, you do need to budget in calibration. I, I'll say the price ranges between $135 and $150 for that. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, somebody's asking about um, New Jersey. You know, are we certified in New Jersey? And in November, we weren't. We are now. And so, um, Martin, we are we are um, certified, you know, for use in New Jersey, and um, I, I will reach out to you tomorrow with that information on the certified lab that it, that you can work with. But um, we, have, you know, New Jersey. For those of you who who are, aren't in New Jersey, we'll just say that it's uh, the maybe one of the most difficult, most rules laden um, radon states. But um, we navigated it. After a, a, a long period, and actually it was the 50th state that we had, but we are approved for sure in New Jersey. And Martin, I'll send you that information uh, in, in you know tomorrow morning. Let's see, this is what I use. Somebody is asking, you know, are there files available for reference such as radon warning levels, charts such as your sample? I do have some of these that, that, that I could share with you, Dixie, that I've got from you know, from our um, our users, they're constantly sending me, you know, little image files and, and different things that they use. So I'll be happy to, to send that to you. See if I have a, I'm running out of time here, but we'll, we'll, we'll answer a few more. And if we don't get to your question today, I will actually um, email you an answer because we looks like we've got a, a ton of questions. Really appreciate all, all the time and, and effort that you guys have, have made to ask the questions and to Turn up. Let's see, do you have information on typical battery packs to, to use? Yes, we do, David. Um, in fact, is I will, um, you know, we have a couple, you know, it's a, a 12 volt, they're, they're 12 volt units. We ship them with a five volt to, to, to 12 volt, um, you know, step up cable. And, um, you know, I, I would say that any standard five volt uh, external battery pack will work well with it. But we have found in the last couple of years uh, of people out there in the field using them and doing our own testing that they range all over the place in terms of quality. So we have done some extensive in-house testing and we've got a few that we know work very well. And uh, we've recommended those to dozens of our users who have been happy with them. So you can do a 48, 72 hours. We even have one that goes up over 90 hours. So. I will get you that, that information as well. And um, we also have a, uh, done a lot of testing on a UPS and an interrupted power supply, which will uh, allow you in case of a, um, a power outage, you know, to continuous, we, we know, you know, no breaks in the action, so to speak. One thing to note, this question comes up all the time. If there is a power outage, you do not lose the data. The data is actually um, is stored in the unit. When the power comes back on, the unit will start up from the beginning of the hour in which the data, you know, the, the power outage went out, and you'll have notification on the software. So if you're doing a 48-hour test, it will complete the, the, the whole test. Okay, let's see. Do a couple more, and then the rest of them I will uh, I will answer um, you know, tomorrow via email. Okay, um, Darren is asking, where can you add the client address data into the inspection data on the web page? You know, Darren, I will get back to you on that and, and show you, you know, with some um, screenshots where to do that. So you can find uh, where to add your clients and you can do that all from the, the web page. I'll show you easier than explaining. Michael, I do have some brochures and pamphlets from the EPA and some other institutions like that about what, what radon is and why it's important to test every home. And I, I can share those, share those with you. And Bruce is saying here that you've got six pros for testing and four trackers for mitigation. 
and uh, he, he loves the devices. So we appreciate that. And um, that's the kind of feedback that, that we love. And that's the kind of feedback that we've been getting on these. So um, Paul will get you the reference data that Fixie is interested in as well. And that, that covers all of our questions. If you have any other questions, um, please let me know. My name again is Mark Rosenfeld, and uh, I should put my, my email address up here, but I'm going to give it to you slowly. It's Mark, M-A-R-C dot R as in Robert, at ecosense.io.